Hello everyone, my name is Azeen. I came back with one more video in dentistry. I hope you like it and enjoy the videos. Today, I want to talk about the one topic which is very popular in dentistry, sometimes a little bit complicated. I want to talk about the root canal treatment, RCT, and the rotary systems. As you know that, there are a lots of the systems, a rotary files, an endomotor introduced in the market. Sometimes dealing with them is not easy and complicated. Sometimes it's very hard following the sequences and the steps in the rotary systems. I think it can be a very good idea just the people who they want to learn the rotary and even a dental student start with something as simple and then improve it to the more advanced uh, systems. Today, I want to talk about the one endomotor in the rotary systems, which is pretty cool. And I think it can be a very good start for uh, beginners and a dental students. So let's get started. Show and explain the manual of this endomotor. It calls this smart eye, as you can see, and this is the box. It's pretty small, pretty nice box. Let's open the box. This is the manual of the box and manual of the, the endomotor. There are a couple boxes here and I will open them. This is the small box, uh, which there is a contra angle of the endomotor. This is the contra angle, as you can see that. And there is a one piece here and then you can use this piece and just place it at the end of the contra angle, which is used for the lubrication of the contra angle. There is another box here, which is the main body or just the main machine of this uh, rotary system. Let's open it. This is the main machine. You will see there is a one plastic here and this one is for the contra angle okay for placing the contra angle as you can see there are uh, some small pins here and there are uh, some small slots here and this one should be just located the pins should be located on the slots and the one important things i want to just talk about it just make sure just the 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 contra angle should just be like in this way, not in this way. This is not correct. So just push it down. And then right now it's fixed. This is the charger. This is the box of the charger. And you can charge it whenever you want it. This is the light. Pretty small light. For placing the light, as you can see that there is a one small socket here and you have to just place the light in this small socket and just put it here. There are a couple of keys here, as you can see that, and these keys just refer to the different things. Okay, first of all, this is the power key. You will see that with the red one and you have to just keep it for one second and you will see that the screen is turned on. You will see the S key. The S key refer to change and adjustment of the speed and torque of the programs. When you just press the S, you will see it's flashing the speed and you can increase it or decrease it. And even you can change the torque 
with the S key. You can decrease or increase. The first one is speed and the second one is the torque. Now let's go to the P key. This is the P. The P just refer to the program of this endo machine. There are six program with this endo motor and I explained each program for you and will show you with the file. Okay, the first one is the program one. You will see the program one. The program one is forward rotation 360 degrees. Let's use the file. Make sure the file inserted very well in the machine. So this is the switch motor and I just press it down and you will see this is the P1. Okay, let's go with the P2. Press the P again. This is the P2 and the P2 is reverse reciprocating motion which is a reverse 150 degrees and the forward 30 degrees. Let's go with the P2. Let's go with the P3. This is the P3, which refer to the reverse 360 degree movement. It seems pretty fast. Let's go with the program four. This is the program four, is the forward reciprocating movement, is the forward movement 150 and the reverse 30. Let's go to the next B, which is the P5. The P5 is the forward 360 with a different torque. Let's go with the P5. It's pretty smooth. Let's go with the last P, which is the P6. This is the P6, which is the reverse 360. It's pretty fast. You can adjust and change any speed or any torque during the working. Uh, it depends on you completely. But one of the things that I want to just explain about it, you cannot adjust the torque in the P2 program and the P4 program. As you can see, there is no torque and you cannot change it. P2 and P4. You cannot change any torque, but you can change the speed. There are many other models available online, but they all work in the same way. There are a final couple points which I would like to talk about it about this endo motor. Uh, first of all, when you want to use this device, make sure the file correctly inserted. It's very important. The other things is that the manufacturer recommended that follow the speed and the torque of the programs. The other things do not any lubrication for the main body and also do not sterilize the main body. The main body does not design for any temperature or any pressure, but you can sterilize the contra angle the and the light. In my opinion, I would like to just wipe the light. The other things, this device, it's recommended do not use for the patient who they have the cardiac paste makers. It's not designed for them. And in general, the lifetime of this device is the five years. 
and there is a six months guarantee for this endo motor and the maintenance services is a one year free i think it can be a pretty good choose for the students who they want to learn uh, uh, rotary systems and uh they are definitely after they can just switch it to the more advanced programs and the systems i hope this video is useful for you thank you so much for watching the video and definitely i will come back with more videos in dentistry